Hello, my name is Ruth Levy, and I will talk about testing triangle finesse in the general model in graphs of arborosity O of n square root of n. <clears throat> a tester for uh, the property of being triangle free it has a one sided arrow. If uh, given a graph which is triangle free, the algorithm accepts with probability 1. And given a graph which is epsilon far from being triangle free, the algorithm rejects with probability at least two thirds. A long Fisher and uh, Krivelevich showed that in the dense graph model, uh, one can uh, test triangle freeness with query, complex, with query complexity, which is independent uh, of n, the number of vertices of the graph. Goldreich and Ron observed that in the bounded degree model, uh, one can uh, test triangle freeness with query complexity, which is linear in 1 over epsilon. Alon Kaufman and Krivilevich and Ron uh, were the first to study the problem in the general model. In the general model, the density of the graph, namely the average degree, uh, is not known in advance and can range, and can range between zero and, and minus one. The distance is measured with respect to the actual number of edges in the graph M. Namely, we say that a graph G is epsilon far from being triangle free if we need to delete more than epsilon M edges to make it triangle free. In this model, we allow both vertex pair queries and neighbor queries, in which uh, in vertex pair queries, uh, we query IJ, and the answer is yes, if and only if there is an edge between vertex I and vertex J. In neighbor queries, we query V, I, and, and the oracle returns uh, the, the i neighbor of vertex v. If one ex if such vertex exists and it uh, returns some indication if, uh, if uh, the degree of v is smaller than i. <clears throat> so as I mentioned before, Alon Kaufman, Krivelevich, and Ron uh, studied the problem of testing triangle freeness in the general model. They provided sublinear upper bounds for almost the entire range of parameters. The upper bounds are at most quadratic in the lower bounds. And uh, they show tight result only for two special cases. One case is when the max degree is of the same order of the average degree, degree and the average degree is at most square root of n. The other case is when the graph is passed, namely when the average degree is constant. <clears throat> Google Man uh, obtained a better lower bounds for the range uh, in which uh, the average degree is between n to the power of one fifth and n to the power of a uh, half. And Rust obtained better upper bounds uh, in the case that the average degree is between n to the power of two fifths and n to the power of four fifths. We uh, study the problem of testing triangle freeness in terms of the arborosity of the graph al alpha, and we show that, and we show an upper bound with expected running time and query complexity, which is O tilde of alpha over the average degree plus alpha. Uh, so n denotes the number of vertices of the graph, m denotes the, the number of edges of the graph, alpha denotes the arborosity of the graph, and uh, d bound denotes the average degree of the graph. As in previous work, n, m, and epsilon are the parameters of the problem, but alpha is not a parameter. So our algorithm <clears throat> runs in expected time, which depends on, on the arborosity of the graph alpha, although it does not receive alpha as a parameter. We show that this result is uh, in, some sense, in some sense tight for graphs of arboricity order of square root of n. Uh, what, what, uh, tight in the sense that for every alpha which is at most n, uh, which is at most square root of n, there exists some feasible m such that this is indeed the number of queries which are necessary. By feasible alpha, we, uh, by feasible m, we mean m which is at least alpha square n at most n uh, times alpha, uh, which is the case uh, in graphs of arborosity alpha. In fact, we show that uh, our uh, upper bound, that our bound is tight for every alpha which is at most square root of n and f n of free feasible m as long as m is at most n or m is at least alpha to the power of 3. In particular, this means that the algorithm is tight for any m as long as the arborosity is at most n to the power of one third. 
Before I will explain our algorithm, I would like to give some motivating examples. Consider a sparse graphs in which they are, uh, in which the average degree is constant. The upper bound of a lone metal of square root of n is essentially tight for this uh, for these graphs. Our upper bound in this case is O tilde of alpha, which gives better bounds when alpha is O little is little O of n of n squared. In any case, in sparse graph. In sparse graphs, alpha is at most square root of n, which means that our algorithm uh, is not worse than the algorithm of alone at all for this case, but could be much better. <clears throat> Consider uh, another case in which alpha uh, equals the average degree, which equals theta of n to the power of one fifth. In this case, the upper bound of alone et al is order of n to the power of three fifths, unless we know that the maximum degree equals a uh, um, equals theta of the average degree, while our upper bound is order of n to the power of one fifth. Uh, in general, we know that when alpha uh, is uh, that alpha is order of n to the power of three fifth when the average degree is theta of n to the power of one fifth. So again, our algorithm <coughs> uh, is not worse. Uh, is not worse, and in general, uh, for any average degree which it, which is between one and n to the power of two fifths, the upper bound of Valon et al. is was the best known, was previously was uh, previously the best known algorithm, uh, and uh, its uh, complexity is order of square root of m. For this range, our upper bound and could be much better depending on alpha. Uh, observe that when we bound the arboricity, we don't uh, we don't impose any bound on the maximum degree. In fact, the maximum degree could be theta of n, even for graphs of arboricity order of one. <coughs> um, we'd like to mention other related work. Um, Alon, uh, Eden, Ron, and uh, Seshadri approximate the number of k clicks in a graph. Specifically, they approximate the number of triangles. Uh, uh, with query complexity as stated in the slide. Uh, they, their algorithm requires to receive alpha uh, as a parameter. Uh, also, their algorithm is, uh, fish, is more efficient as the number of triangles uh, is greater. You notice that when we test a triangle fairness, we do not know a priori whether the number of triangles is uh, large or not. Other related algorithms uh, again, that require an upper bound on the arboricity of the graph uh, are by uh, Eden, Ron, and Seshadu with estimated the degree moments and by Eden, Ron, and Rosenbaum that sample edges only, almost uniformly. Uh, both algorithms uh, have query complexity that depends on the arboricity of the graph. Um, so what are the main ideas of our algorithm? Um, assume there is a graph which is epsilon far for green triangle free. Then we know that uh, omega of epsilon m edges, then, then we know that uh, we have omega of epsilon m edge disjoint triangles in G. If we put sample edges uniformly from this graph, then with probability at least epsilon, we would sample an edge UV such that uh, uh, the neighbors of U intersect with the neighbor of V. A problem with this uh, approach uh, would be one that it's, it is not clear how to sample uh, edges uniformly from a graph that we did not know, for which we do not have any bound on its density. And the other problem is that, uh, that, uh, is that it might be that both U and V have high degrees. In order to explain how we tackle these problems, uh, we, will, we would need some definitions. So the further definition is uh, for some threshold t, we let h t of g denote the set of heavy vertices with respect to t, namely vertices for which the degree is at least t. The graph h g comma t is the graph uh, in which uh, we take g and remove all the edges in which both endpoints are heavy. The graph g comma t is a directed version of h g comma t in which we orient the edges from light vertices to heavy vertices. And if we have uh, edges for which well, both endpoints are light, then we break ties according to the ID. Now we are ready to explain uh, the parameter alpha star. The idea is to find a, a, a minimum alpha such that the number of edges in the graph H G comma alpha star over epsilon is at least 
m minus c epsilon m where c is some absolute constant. Then give, given such alpha, we, will, we would test the angle fairness on this graph h. Uh, the reason we want to do that is that we can sample edges in H almost uniformly using only order of alpha, uh, to alpha star over uh, d bar squares. This solves problem number one that we mentioned. We observe that alpha star is uh, bounded by the arborosity of the graph and in fact it could be much smaller. So in this case we get a, a better uh, complexity. The second idea is to use uh, the graph dg, t to approximate alpha star. Uh, we, in, uh, in this, um, here we uh, use similar ideas at, uh, in Ed and Ron and Seshadri uh, for estimating the, in their paper for estimating the degree moments. We mentioned that uh, although uh, the ideas are uh, similar, they are not the, the same. And also it is not clear how we could uh, uh, reduce our prob problem um, to estimating uh, um, to, to using a, their a procedure for estimating the number of edges since we do not have direct access to the graph G, A to the graph H, only to the graph G. Uh, the second observation is that every triangle in the graph A H it has at least one edge such that both endpoints are light. This solves problem number two. So uh, in high level, our, our algorithm is as follows. Uh, in the first step, step, it approximates alpha star and let T be alpha star over epsilon. Uh, then it proceeds for one over epsilon iterations. In it, it, each iteration, it's sample and edge UV uniformly from the graph H and check uh, whether there is an intersection between uh, the endpoints, the neighbors of the endpoints of the, uh, of the edge, uh, only if both endpoints are light. We note that in Eden, Levy, and Ron, uh, they approximate uh, a, a similar parameter, um, but uh, there, the complexity there is square root of, is, is alpha star, but the complexity there is square root of m over uh, d bar, which is, uh, could, that could be uh, higher than uh, alpha over d bar. Uh, our lower bound, we have uh, two lower bounds, one lower bound for uh, D, which is which for, uh, uh, for D bar, which is order of one. It's a simple uh, heating argument. We construct a graph, which is far from being triangle free, but with high constant probability, we'll heat only isolate, we will heat only isolated vertices if, we, if the number of squares is, is at most uh, alpha over uh, D bar. Uh, the other lower bound uh, for m, which is between n and n times alpha, we simply adapt the lower bound of a et al. We construct a graph, which is far from being triangle free, but with high constant probability, it does not close a cycle unless uh, if the number of squares is the minimum between alpha and m over alpha squared. Uh, there are two main open questions. One, can we improve the bounds and obtain tight bounds? in the strong sense for every graph which has arborosity uh, at most square root of n. And the other obvious question is whether, uh, what is the right parameter for testing a, a graphs with arborosity which is greater than square root of n. Thank you for your attention.